Cat man, yeah, I fly, never land. Everybody knows Mo shows a cat man. <laughs> If you had told me two years ago that I'd be planning my cat's birthday party, I probably would have called you crazy. I had no... Well, hey, hey, and happy Purs Day. I really need you to pause and pay attention right meow because this next guest is one cool cat. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I'm about to talk with executive producer of the documentary series Cat People, which explores our fascinating friendship with felines and defies the negative crazy cat lady stereotype, which, by the way... I embrace fully. Please put your paws together for Glenn Zipper. Good morning, Glenn. Morning. Thursday. That's awesome. Thank you. I spent a lot of time on that introduction. <laughs> Glenn, I have to ask, you know, there is, unfortunately, this stereotype when someone says, hey, I'm a cat person. If I say that to you, what would you say is the stereotype? What do you think? Uh, someone that's a little bit weird, someone that's antisocial, someone that spends a lot of time by themselves, someone that you probably wouldn't want to hang out with. All wrong, by the way. I know, and it's funny because I'm probably not, I am weird, but I'm none of the rest of those things. So where did the inspiration for this document documentary series uh, come about? Well, honestly, we started with a show called Dogs, and um, Dog Season 2 is premiering on the same day as Cat People. And when Dogs came out, uh, the cat people came after me on social media, and they said, listen, if we don't have a cat show soon, you're going to have a problem. And, you know, I... I want to have a long and healthy life, so I thought it would be smart for me to come up with a cat show real quick. Okay, wouldn't you admit that one stereotype that is probably true, cat people are intense, right? They will come out, claws, claws are going. It, absolutely. They were truly insulted that there was a dog show and there wasn't a cat show, and so we had to respond to that. So I was telling you during the commercial, you know, I was looking at your episode rundown, and it's probably good, but I'm super familiar with all of these and excited about it. Can you run us through some of the guests that you're going to have on the documentary? Sure. We have a guy named uh, Mosho who's a cat rapper. He's got an episode called Cat Rapper's Delight. And if you think you know what a cat rapper is, you kind of don't until you see this episode. Um, we have another episode about essentially a cat circus. And you're probably listening to me say that, and you're like, what is a cat circus? Well, it's, it's hard to explain, but once you see it, you'll never be able to unsee it. <laughs> um, we have an episode about a uh, cat sanctuary in Greece, and I think all of us are going to want to retire and move to that sanctuary, whether you're a cat person or not. It's absolutely beautiful. We have an episode in Japan who has, where there's an artist that does an incredibly unique type of art where she replicates the faces of cats. Um, we have another episode of, uh, about a guy named uh, the original Trap King who yeah. released, who catches cats and then uh, neuters them and releases them. We have episodes of just about every flavor and every variety with all sorts of fascinating characters who absolutely will challenge your idea of what a cat person is. Yep, and I've actually interviewed um, Samantha from Acro Cats and the Trap King. They're, they're just great people and they're trying to do great things. So here's my deal. I've got two kitties and they are leash trained. We do walk them, we take them on hikes, we put them in the backpack, you know, they're always outside. I'm um, saying mm -hmm. hello to the dogs and I think, you know, people see this and they're like, that is, what, I've never seen that, it's weird. But again, it's defying that stereotype, right? Absolutely, and we have another episode where someone has a support cat who's actually also a surfing cat. And you know, you, if you see someone with a support dog, you, you won't blink an eye, but if you see someone with a support cat, you'd be thinking to yourself, well, that's odd. But the thing is that support cat offers that person the same love and care that a support dog would. So it's yeah. really just about, highlighting and hanging a lantern on some of these negative stereotypes and then re-educating people and saying, actually, it's not so weird. And I think people really assume if they haven't had cats, oh, well, they just claw you. I mean, sometimes they do, or they hide under the bed. Um, but every cat that I've had is so loving. They love to cuddle. They love to play. They love to be with you. They want to go outside. And they do give you that love that a dog does as well. Absolutely. I mean, that's what having a pet is all about, that unconditional love, whether it's a, a cat, a dog, a possum, I mean, maybe not a turtle or something like that. But yes, I mean, cats and dogs offer people the same type of love, and that's what we're all looking for. Glenn, you've now offended the entire turtle community, so sorry, you've been canceled. I'm just kidding. Come, yes, come after me, turtle people. I'm ready. <laughs> Glenn, I have one final question for you, and your life does depend on it. Are you okay. a dog or a cat person? I am actually asking President Biden to call for a national day of truce between dogs and cats. I am both, and I think everybody should be. You're my favorite person. I love that you're doing this. It's such a good thing when anyone in the public eye comes out and promotes these kitties. Okay, Cat People available July 7th on Netflix. Glenn, thank you so much.
Thank you for having me. All right, we'll be right back.